Okay, so it is uh, mid-April, almost tax day, almost April 15th, 2018. This is uh, Dr. Scott Geller with a great patient from Naples, Florida. And you had an interesting uh, case. Uh, I, I see a lot of this. It, 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 your, your symptoms were like a windshield wiper, correct? Yes, that's correct. So was it worse when you were reading or driving? How would you describe it? Well, I would say it was worse probably driving. Okay, and, and there's a video going on right now of what you had there. It was right behind the natural lens of the eye. And we see a lot of that. Patients classically describe it as, you know, look down to read and all of a sudden my vision gets blurred. But the strategy here was to get it out of the visual axis as much as possible. And in your case, this was uh, bilateral. It was right and left eye. So I did, what, two sessions in the right eye? And that gave you a fairly significant improvement. It's a very significant improvement in my right eye. It was yeah. terrific. And that's my dominant eye, so I'm glad that yeah. that worked out and there so is well. that there is that guy again right there. Uh, it's fairly large. I'd say, you know, this is... Most people don't have floaters like this. This is definitely in the upper probably 20% of the kind of cases I see. Uh, your left eye also had the same thing. I did three sessions on that. Uh, when you came in today, I see a little residual stuff, but uh, we deferred pursuing more laser because you can take two steps forward, one step backwards, and that's not a good thing. I think when we get a significant improvement, uh, leave well enough alone. Don't push the envelope. Uh, there is an envelope with this type of work. Uh, other ophthalmologists might not understand that if they get into this, but they will shortly. Anyway, you're happy with the result, correct? I'm very happy with the results, and uh, it's a significant improvement since when I came in. Um, one of the issues I had, I started playing tennis this year, and sometimes the tennis balls would just whiz right by, and now I'm able to, to pick up on the tennis balls a lot better. Yeah, and the problem in ophthalmology, of course, this is not very scientific to say that, well, the tennis balls are better, but you got to believe what the patient says. That's, that's the bottom line, and uh, I enjoy doing this. It's great stuff. Uh, I hope other ophthalmologists get more interested, and uh, maybe they'll even do this in Minnesota some year or decade. Maybe. <laughs> okay, have a great trip up north. Thank you.